Greetings again. This is Dr. Bill Wyatt with the American Orthodox Society, and I want to bring a case here that I did not do, but I got the pictures of this because one of the men in this group of this study group had been in our case, in our school, and we had taught him, and he knew what could be done better than some of the orthodontists and the old surgeons that uh, gathered here to study about this case and to decide what to do here. And let me show you what the mistake that they made is to me is a mistake uh, going there. So let's get going with this and I'll try to uh, show you what I felt ought to have been done and what they actually did in this. And I'm not blaming them. They were taught that this could not, you could not do this type of thing. And so they believed that to the point that they didn't even try to do it. And let me show you what can be done here. Let's, uh, I want to touch this and get going on it. Here now, all I had was a bunch of uh, pictures of the case. And this is a scissor bite, which is worse than the one I had. The upper teeth met completely over the lower teeth down here. You see, these teeth are fitting inside that. And the other side of the mouth was uh, fitting pretty good, about the same way. I mean, it's, it was correct. And so one side was off. But rather than take these teeth and move them over under the other teeth right here, they extracted the good teeth and spread the bone out and put some implants going out to the side like that. And to me, it was a, a ridiculously wrong thing to do. Now, here is the scissor bite from the other side. It's worse than mine was. This is down like that. And you might have to put a block in there to raise it to get this over, but you could have pulled this, these teeth, and moved them out buckly, move them out in this direction, and brought them underneath these others. And I think if I, you, I could do that. I know I could do it. All right, this side meets okay. There's a tooth missing over here on this area, so they've got only a motor and couple of bicuspids and things that chew on on that side. The other side of the mouth completely misses. And this is where you'd have to hook elastics on the inside of these and come out here and over on this side. You'd have to do a similar thing to keep this upper from expand, expanding when you start to expand this. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this would go the other other way around, you'd be holding it over there like that. I made a mistake myself. <laughs> All right, we're going to widen this out. And these are x rays that are, I got these pictures. He, my friend brought these pictures to me and says, This is what happened. These are three good teeth that the lady had. And these are fitting over here, and they got problems in the other teeth. So what happened? They took the three good teeth and extracted them, spread the bone out, put implants in, angling at, at this way, and then crowned those. And here she is after it's over. Let me see, they've got a picture in here of where the teeth were removed. And now they put an implant here and implants here and angle them out to, to get against the, the bone structure up there. Now, what it would cost, you saw this young man, we did this, he put a big daddy arch wire in there, spread it out. You're gonna spread this one just as well even though it's more expansion, you'd have to put a block or something so you could get the teeth underneath there uh, to do it, but you could do that too. 
and you could spread that to pull it out and you would have kept the good teeth. There are the implants and there they are in the bone structure right there. And so they took the implants, put crowns on them that are going out to meet these teeth right there, fix, finish doing the other teeth, and they put this out as a something that they were proud of doing. And it, the, if you had had to pay for doing this, it would have, the cost would have been so many, so much more than just bringing the teeth out there. It would be funny. So th I'm sure this was happening. Now here, the uh, the teeth they put crowns on those implants. They were the implants leading out here. The crown would be out here on it. And there it was that way. And now. These were the three good teeth that they took out and they built the implants going out in that direction, spread the bone out, you know, and put the freeze bone in there and develop these coming off like that. And now there, that's the upper teeth. And that side there's a tooth missing. So they bring this side out and kept this out about the same way. And so they'd use those elastics like I showed you. You something on the inside here coming out here and something you try to push this side out so you you come in like that. And that holds this side back while you're expanding the other side. I take that back. This has to get done from this side because you'll be expanding, pull back on that. Now here's the way the bottle fit like that. And they put the teeth in there. It took us some good records. But this too, this is the way it was, and the way it was. And they brought me these pictures. And then we have the implants over there, and they brought crowns under the implants. All right, these were the three good teeth that they extracted. And they put implants in there. And there are the implants. Anyway, so I'm just showing you this. I don't blame these people. They have been taught that you could not move the teeth out where there's no bone. And you can. You take the teeth and bring them out like this. If you have to, you can put them in buckle root torque in there if you needed these teeth were, were, were the way they brought them out you didn't have to do that their teeth are still leaning the implants are leaning and the crowns would come up on the side of the implant uh, so I hope you pick up this I'm not uh, criticizing the guys oh, well I don't know that I'm not really criticizing them to some extent they should have known you could do this, but they've been taught that you could not do this. And it's, it's wrong. It can be done, and I won't say goodbye, and I hope you go through these two cases and see what can actually be done. Thank you for watching, and I'll sign off now.